Hello everybody and welcome back to the KOF Legacy. Today we are playing KOF R2. Uh, so yeah, looks fairly similar to KOF R1. Uh, but instead of being based around KOF 97, this one is based around KOF 98, as you can see. Um, so yeah, we're getting some some, bi some bios of the characters. Okay, I guess I guess it just kind of uh, shifts itself around every so often, but yeah, I don't know if we'll get. I mean, I guess if we got Orochi on easy in R1 than in this game, it shouldn't be any different, right? Uh, so you get some extra modes, uh, defaults to team, so I'll play it in team mode. Uh, so Team Kusanagi in this game is Kyo, Saisu, and Shingo. So yeah, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing as Kasumi this time, as well as, yeah, I, I'm going to play Athena this time around. And I'm gonna play Shermie. Why not play 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 the gal? Play, play some of the ladies. Cause you know what? They they deserve some time in the spotlight. Cause I mean, a lot of people are like you know, people like to just throw KOF under the bus for not really ha having things that people like. And really, all I gotta say is, KOF's got something for everybody. So yeah, uh. Let me go over the characters that I, I picked. Kasumi Toto. Uh, she first appeared in Art of Fighting 3. Um, I had to push your face in. Uh, she first appeared in Art of Fighting 3. Um, then they stuck her in KOF 96 um, to replace Yuri on the Art of Fighting team. Or on the women's team because she moved to Art of Fighting. Uh, Yeah, uh, Kasumi is an ant. Is she, she's kind of like Aji. Uh, she's she doesn't she's not fond of the uh, the sake, the Kyokugen karate fighting style. Uh, so yeah, her father uh, Ryu Haku Toto um, would be in CVS two, which. I'm not going to be playing him in CVS 2 just because I already have a bunch of characters I want to play in CVS 2. Um, but yeah, I want to at least mention him. Also, Toto does show up in uh, some of the KOFs in a somewhat unconventional way. Uh, sorry, buddy. You're a mess. You're a fucking mess. All right, we got Terry Kioni Ori. It's an order, don't hate me. Never mind, we're first in Athena now. Or, Leona. Leona, not Athena, Leona! Uh, I'm tired. Uh, so yeah, Athena... I've ragged on her this season. Or, season, what am I talking about? Um, this series. But, admittedly, I don't hate Athena. Uh, I don't. I don't entirely hate her, mostly because uh, her her playstyle is actually kind of fun. Like she she's fun to play as. She's just uh, in. She's just in fucking sufferable to listen to. And that's how you do it. Thanks. Let's do this again. So yeah, now you fight uh, Kyo, Terry, and Iori. At least. Um, but yeah, Shermie, Shermie's a grappler. Shermie's one of them grappler types. Uh, so seeing her in a game like this is kind of weird. But at the same time, uh, yeah, she, she mostly operates on half circles. She's not, uh, she doesn't have, like, 360 motions or anything stupid like that. Uh, she at least makes somewhat a, li a little bit of sense. Ow! What the fuck? Iori! Iorizel! What a face! So, yeah. Uh, don't, don't think we're gonna be done with the Neo Geo uh, Pocket. Which, this is the Neo Geo Pocket color. Uh, which is also another reason probably why 
they want to up this game for make make this R2 so that they can get more people to buy Neo Geo Pocket Colors. Because this one's in color, unlike the first uh, Neo Geo Pocket KOF. But yeah, we, we still got a few more games on uh, this little this little system. So don't, don't think we're done with the Neo Geo Pocket just yet. And also, I really need to pee, and um, I don't know how much longer this this episode is gonna last. So, uh, help! Terry is doing power charge combos on me. I'm not a fan of this, not one bit. Oh my god! Fucking Terry! Terry, please. No! Fine, just kill him. There. I was trying to get a super kill, but... Over so soon, are you serious? Are you serious? Fuck you. Oh, oh, that's that's probably Orochi Shermy. Well, I have to do it. <laughs> I kind of have to do it. Oh my god. Well, at least the Orochi forms are in this game. At least. Kind of like Yashiro in 97. I'm not really inclined on playing Orochi Shermy. I forgot she had the... Had this shit. You're good. Ha! <laughs> Not. Yeah. F fuck her. Fuck her. I'm gonna make fun of this game. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make fun of this game. But yeah. For some reason, Kasumi is on. Are the fighting team in this game, which makes absolutely no sense. Just, just gonna tell you that right now. This makes literally no sense. I guess maybe Kasumi is friends with Yuri, so that's why she puts up with Rio. Well, like. In this game, I can spam Psycho Ball without feeling like a, a degenerate. Rio. Rio. Fuck! God damn it. I'm sick of your bullshit! I'm pretty sure Kasumi also has a uh, has counter throws. Speaking of it, of it, that was a throw attack or something like that. Okay, mirror match time. I seek a match. I seek it. Ah! Oh! Is that just double double or is that? I think it's just double double. Ow. I don't know how to do the projectile. And she just keeps fucking doing it. No. Oh my god, she went into freaking max mode. I did it too! Whoa! Oh, I forgot you could do that move in the air. I totally forgot you could. At any rate, I have won! That also makes zero sense. Yuri's sprite does not... She does not look happy to be in this game. She looks... Super fun. She looks evil as hell in this game.
It's like you fucking suck! There we go. Get killed. Alright, Shingo, Yashiro, and Chris. Why is it why does it feel like um why does it feel like Shingo and Chris could like blend in with each other? Like you you could put them side by side and make it seem like they're related in some way, but no, there's there's no relation between Shingo and Chris. They just look similar. And they're they both originated from the same game, no less. Also, Yashiro was an utter pain in the ass last time, and he is wrecking my shit. How do I do this stupid attack? Oh my god, he's just flinging his limbs. That's all he's doing. He's literally, literally just clicking buttons. Literally what he's doing, clicking buttons. No, that's chip. I mean, come on. What, what the hell? This is a Neo Geo Pocket Color game. I shouldn't be losing like this. How did I beat R1 so fucking easily? And then this dumb asshole. Uh, fuck it, I'm just not. I can't even play lame in this game. He won't let me. Okay, I just need to click punch. Oh my, stop doing the forward punch. Stop. Oh my god, I wanted a psycho ball. The game wouldn't give it to me. I mean, come on! What is this? Come on! He won't die! None of my moves are doing damage. None of my moves are doing damage. What the fuck? And then the game refuses to give me... What if I start playing on this? Okay, see, now I can get moves freely because I'm using a controller. That's why. No, no, come on, Shingo! What the heck? Oh my god! I'm getting my ass handed to me by a fucking Neo Geo Pocket Color game. What the fuck? These are meant to be the easy ones. The, the games... Okay, so I beat KOF 99 with no effort whatsoever. With characters I barely know how to play. Then with characters I have at least a bit more exposure with in a game that's not hard at all. Suddenly now I start to lose. This is, oh my god, oh they're, oh, a critical hit. Yeah, no, that's dumb. How much damage do you need to, Arr, computer's doing double damage. That is, okay, alright. Just gonna cut, I am pissed off. There! Oh my god! Fucking Christ on a f Ugh. I almost was gonna sweet it was gonna do it with Oh god Really? Come on! I uh This is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. This is dumb. This is this is ass. Why? Why do I have to do this? What's the point? So I figured out that Kasumi's fireball is actually half circle forward, not not quarter circle forward, so. At least there's that. Or at least it could be quarter circle forward, but with more consistency if I do it with half circle. Why is Orochi Chris always a fucking pushover? Regular Chris actually beat the shit out of me. Off camera. Like, I. Uh. It's stuff like this, man, that just, like, makes no fucking sense. Like, how, how does that work? It is quarter circle forward. Or is it half circle? I keep getting these fucking body checks. No, no, no. No, 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 Shermie's doing, Orochi Shermie is doing less damage than Vanilla, <laughs> Vanilla Yashiro and fucking, at least with Shingo it kind of makes sense because he's supposed to be like a high damage, but like high recovery character. 
just Jesus Christ. Alright. Round three, ready, go. I'm just Ow. I'm not looking forward to the to the end game of this. Well, because I already got spoiled on who the final boss is, and we saw him in the intro. I just didn't expect to have to fight the freaking Orochi team. That's why I didn't have to. That's what I didn't see coming. There. Don't try anything fancy. Just fucking brute force this shit. It's Omega Rugal. To which, of course, of course it is. Oh, let's go! Rugal which is fucking stupid. How do I do a reflector? I think it's this. No, it isn't. If I can beat Rugal in one try, did Genocide Cutter just go straight through me? Okay, no, it didn't. Well, it seems like I can punch and hit him as he. I'm not, I'm not that stupid. Now that's this is that that's stupid. I <laughs> You live to hate? Oh, you sad man. That it could not be more appropriate, Athena. You could not... I, As much as I don't like you, Athena, I have to agree with you here. Wow, he doesn't even have a remote detonator. He just has an actual bomb in his hands. Ah. <sighs> well, uh, that was KOFR2. Uh, that was not pleasant. Not at all. Chip sunken for good. If you believe, you will win. Weenie talk is cheap. Ha ha ha. Well, what an ending. <laughs> so anyhow, like I said earlier, if you think we're going to be done with the Neo Geo Pocket Color games, you'd be dead wrong. We got three more left. And one of them is we gonna be happening right next episode when we're gonna be playing King of Fighters Battle to Paradise. These names, man, they're, uh, <laughs> they're interesting. So anyhow, with all that said and done, I have been Reaper Vegas, and I will see you all next time.